Hi beautiful darlings, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi. We are in the living room today because, um, actually let me turn this fan off because it's sitting like right next to us and that's probably pretty loud. Um, it is gorgeous grandma day. Uh, I still cannot wear makeup because this is still a little active. Um, but I'm a grandma. I think I'm pretty gorgeous. So happy gorgeous grandma day. Yay. Um, I was up early today because frankly, it's hot outside and I needed to get some groceries for the next few days for me and Jake. Sippy sippy. Mm -mm -mm. Someone over here thinks he needs to be barking. Jacob, no. Um, anyway, I was up early today because uh, I needed to get some groceries. My phone app, or my uh, phone app, <laughs> the weather app on my phone says Jeff Bezos certainly knows everything about you, and they're probably right. Uh, it is only 8.42 in the morning, and it is already 81 degrees. When I went to the store this morning, it was 77 degrees already, which is nice, which is nice. But I did, I did bust a sweat while I was walking to the store and walking home uh, from the bus stop. Um, my, my habit, as long as, you know, like, it's not super hot or anything crazy, is to just walk to the store and then uh, ride the bus home so I don't have to carry stuff home. Uh, that way I get a little workout and, but save myself, you know, the back strain. <clears throat> and because I knew it was gonna be, what does what the, uh, I should have just left this open, honestly. This is, uh, this weather app, by the way, is called What the Forecast. You can turn the profanity off, but he's just snarky and funny, and he makes funny little ding-a-ling-a-ding-dongs on there. It's supposed to be over 100 a day, but only 101. But uh, the rest of the week, uh, it looks like next week by Thursday, 107. Mm. 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 Mama don't like it. Okay, so, or grandma don't like. Gigi don't like. <laughs> so, um, let's just, you know, I was on Twitter this morning and I thought since I'm awake and feeling chatty, something bit me last night. Uh, I got a couple bites here, so I'm guessing spider. And we have those big, fat, ugly wolf spiders in my house. So, uh, maybe, maybe one crawled in bed with me last night. Uh, so I'm perusing Twitter and I saw a couple things. I thought maybe we would just talk about them. Okay, so I don't know how much you keep up on other politics in other lands. Frankly, I don't know how much you keep up with politics in our land. But over in the UK, um, otherwise known as England, Boris Johnson just became the new prime minister. That is not good. If you don't know who he is, read up on him. He, But he is um, the UK equivalent of Donald Trump, pretty basically. So it is a disturbing trend throughout the lands. Oh, wow, I see a spider crawling up its web outside my window, like a, a daddy long leg style, which... I don't know what the real name of it is. But, back to Boris. Um, even his hair and shit, he's just... <sighs> he's a fucked up crazy dude. So, super conservative, super racist, super anti-LGBTQ, super anti-saving the world, uh, you know, pro-capitalism. So... 100% heading in the wrong direction. 
that's just a little distressing. So we go from Theresa May to Boris. So that that's that's going to be interesting. And the trending hashtags that I see are um, the the my two favorites are not my PM, which echo the not my president hashtags you see in America, and hashtag Boris Johnson should not be PM. So. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Um, another thing that I saw. Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh. I just want to give a shout out and a love bomb to Amy Winehouse on the anniversary of her death. I'm just still miss that lady. Still miss her voice. I miss what could have been from her, you know? So, it's Daniel Radcliffe's 30th birthday. If anyone cares about that, I really don't, but I just saw it. I just saw it. Um, uh, oh, guys, I'm a little nauseous this morning. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe I just need some food. That could be it. That could be it. So the main thing that I really wanted to chat about um, is there's a story coming out of Nashville about a, a, a neighborhood, a, just a group of neighbors who came together and kept ICE from arresting a father and husband um, and I just, I, I'm, I'm floored. I'm so, I love it. I just, it makes me so happy. Just so many things are flooding my mind to say all at one time and I just needed a beat. Sorry about that. So what happened basically is that they had been seeing this van, this white unmarked van roaming the hood for a few days and you know they're just a neighborhood they don't when i see a van drive down the street i don't think oh ice is here i just say oh i just there's a van let me not get run over you know just like everyone else and um so they it's early in the morning the the dad and his son come out to the car going to work school what have you and um they didn't have the ice. Oh, excuse me. The ice agents did not have a warrant that uh, that was signed by a judge. They just had an administrative order from their own department, which in and of itself is unlawful. So um, basically what ended up happening is Neighbors came out, saw what was going on, said, don't get out of your car. Do not listen to what they say. As long as you do not open your car door and come out, they cannot legally force you out. Um, they surrounded their car, brought them gas to keep, so they could keep the car running and keep the air conditioner on because it's, it's hot. Nashville's in the South. It's hot there. Um, and um, it's summertime in the middle of climate change. It is literally hot everywhere. So they would bring them cool cloths, food, water, gas for the car to keep them going. And they surrounded the car. They would not let the ICE agents near them. The police were called, but in Nashville, the police, it is unlawful for the police to assist ICE agents unless they actually have a warrant signed from a judge that has a crime in the warrant there it cannot just be a warrant for being in America because that's not actually a crime it's a civil matter um, so unless there's an actual crime involved in the warrant over and above being in America then the police in Nashville will will not intervene in any way, but they did they did just sort of hang out to make sure everything stayed peaceful, and it did. 
the the uh, as more and more neighbors woke up because they came early early in the morning I'm trying to see 6 a.m. Uh, as more and more neighbors woke up to start their day more and more people showed up calling out from work taking days taking time from their family to keep this this family safe and keep them out of custody so after I want to say it was about Forgive me, forgive me. I should have made notes maybe. I want to say it was like four hours. Um, regardless, if I can find it, I will. Um, here we go. After about four hours, so that would be about 10 in the morning, which by then it was already 90 degrees. Okay, so that's telling you how uncomfortable these people went out of their way to protect this family. I mean, they put themselves in harm's way. They put themselves in the heat, took chances. I'm so happy and proud of these people. So after about four hours, ICE left. And just to make sure that nothing could happen to them, they made like... A human barrier between their car and their front door so that they would have safety to get to their house they got in the house the mother from the door who'd been in there watching this the whole time it is telling everyone thank you in Spanish which is um, just so she's saying gracias uh, thank you thank you thank you crying and crying and crying so scared that her husband and son are about to be taken out of her life forever how do you even find your loved ones after this so uh by the end of the night though the the neighborhood had helped them escape they were gone and nobody even knows where they are now they just they're gone i hope that they stay safe and i hope that they find a safe place to hide and I hope if you're watching this and you are undocumented, because I refuse to call people illegal, okay? It is not illegal to come to America. It's not. Now, maybe there are a few people who come to America and don't do it the right way. I still don't care. Frankly, I don't. I don't. Um... I, I have grown up around people whose skin tone didn't 100% match mine, although I will say when you're a little white girl running around the sunshine in New Mexico, you get just as brown as everybody else around you. And I have Native American uh, ancestry, so I could get pretty dark. Um, the only thing that gives it away really is that my hair starts to blonde out a lot in the sunshine and I have these crazy blue eyes. So, um, whatever. I'm, I'm not going, I'm not going to let people be treated horrible if I can help it. So that's how I feel about that. And this just gives me so, so, so much hope that even though... Let's keep it real. Even though the right um, wing of this country is cheating to win, and that's exactly what's happening. If you look into gerrymandering and voter suppression, they are cheating to win. And even though they are doing that, the actual people of the world are waking up and taking notice and taking a stand. Have you seen... Hold on one second. Sorry, I just needed to blow my nose a little bit. So have you seen the reports coming out of Puerto Rico? That gives me life right now. And I am ready for America to stand up and start something similar. And I mean all of us. If we stood up across this land and said, no, we're not going to put up with your late stage capitalism bullshit, um, things would change. And I am ready for that day. For all the days that that's, I know that we're coming to that. And I just really am excited to be part of it. So I think we're going to beat climate change. I think we're going to figure out how to, to get the CO2 out of the air. We're going to cool this bitch down. And 
we're going to make the planet a paradise. That's what I think will happen. Um, maybe I'm an idealistic fool, but I'm not going to stop working for that. I'm not going to give in to the people who want to destroy this planet because oil or whatever their excuse is. I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any sense. So why would I worry about them? Right? Like when you're a parent and your child isn't making any sense, you just go, okay, honey, I love you. And you pick them up and make them do what you need them to do anyway. And those of us who know the right direction need to just do that. So, wow, there's that. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here because we're over 15 minutes now. And I really, I, honestly, I feel like I've been chatting with you for like five minutes. So uh, I really have to work on my nails today because this nail being broken is not giving me life. Um, and I meant to do it last night, but I knew I had to get up this morning at 530. And there was just no way I was trying to stay up and mess with nails. So after a short nap what I'm going to do today and I am going to film it for the other channel like I said yesterday so be sure to subscribe at down for glam and um, before you head over there make sure you subscribe here first though we're up to 49 subscribers we only need one more for 50 and I've been thinking that when we get up to 100 I'll go shopping and find something really awesome for a giveaway so Let's get these videos shared. Let's get our friends subscribed. Let's build a community. Let's get us to 100. First, let's get to 50. We need one more. One more subscriber. And if you do that, you'll be one of my favorites. <laughs>